So friends, Bhuvneshwar uh, Zha, back to you again. We are talking on different experiments which can be designed in the engineering, in the laboratories of the engineering colleges at a very low cost. And right now we are talking on the experiments of power systems, a subject which is usually taken in second year of the engineering. So a very simple experiments are being discussed. We have discussed the short transmission line and in that we ignored the capacitance because the capacitance is very low. But here in medium transmission line, we will not ignore it because any line beyond 50 kilometer, you cannot ignore. But that is very good because you see, the longer the transmission line, the performance of the transmission line improves. And that is what we would want to conclude in this experiment. So going further, friends, our motivation to do this experiment is that it is very essential to find out the efficiency in regulation because if efficiency is poor and regulation is low, then the transmission line will not give good performance you are giving certain uh, sending and voltage and at the receiving end, you are receiving very low voltage. So there are heavy voltage drops and if efficiency is low, that means I square R losses are high. So it's a loss to the system. It's a loss to the electricity company. So uh, people will decide in advance before erecting the line that what should be the efficiency and regulation. And standards also talk about efficiency and regulation. And uh, after your design is complete, if you find that this efficiency and regulation are not as per your requirement, you have to change the parameters, you have to change the design and uh, see to it that the parameters are within limits. The objective of this experiment that we would want to find out the efficiency and regulation of the medium transmission line. We want to observe Ferranti effect, very important, because you see when the long transmission line or medium transmission line will be open circuited, that means it is not taking any load or it is taking very light load, then the receiving end voltage will be more than the sending end voltage. That is very dangerous because the insulators on receiving end side will be damaged or you will have to grade the insulator accordingly, which is a very costly process. Therefore, uh, the insulators uh, have, I mean, Therefore, the Ferranti effect should not be there. You have to do something for that. Now, what to do that we'll discuss later. And uh, you have to improve the power factor at the sending end. I mean, this uh, medium transmission line improves the power factor at the sending end. And how does it improve? That we would like to see. And we will find out the generalized line constants. Uh, now we are simulating this long line of some 100 kilometer long, 75 kilometer long in the laboratory, right? So it is little difficult. We are simulating the resistance by rheostat. 
5 ohm rheostat. Very typical for a line of the order of 60 ohms, 70 ohms. Resistance of 5 ohm is typical, can be. And reactor of 20 ohm, that is X by R ratio 3 or 4 is also typical. So we rather choose the reactor of 20 ohms, which is available in market. Load bank, 1200 ohms, 0.6 ampere. We take 5 1200 ohm resistance and select one by one to change the load and to see the performance of the line with the change of load. Emitters, voltmeters are there, but they are calibrated in terms of kilo amperes, kilovolt and megawatt because we would want to give a feel of a line and we'll be using 660 volt capacitors of one microfarad to represent the natural capacitance of line and also the deliberate capacitance which we connect at the uh, receiving end to improve the power factor. Theory is simple uh, and even if it is not simple, we do not want to talk much about theory in practical. That line capacitance which was ignored because we are not ignore, ignoring it here. It is blessing in disguise. It gives, it gives us many advantages. Line current gets reduced. Power factor at the sending end gets improved. Regulation is better. Efficiency is high. Line losses will decrease. And receiving end voltage will be more than sending end voltage at no load, which is a, a disadvantage. And you will have to do something for it. Usually what people do is people connect the shunt reactor in case of shunt capacitor so that the voltage is controlled. So that changing from capacitor to inductor. So not only one capacitor, there will be some five capacitor and five inductor. So how many capacitors or inductors are to be connected? That is decided by thyristorized switches and thyristorized switches are controlled by microprocessor. So these are the advantages of the, uh, I mean, this is how you can deal with different effect, right? So what we do in this uh, method that you see, actually the resistance, inductance and capacitance are distributed. Every kilometer there is a resistance. But then analysis becomes very complex. Analysis is done. People are making analysis of long transmission line. And we can design an experiment also, but we will need many components. Experiment will become costly. And we are here to discuss the experiments which are uh, having less cost. Therefore, the in the in this method, what we'll do? We'll assume the complete capacitance of the line to be lumped at the end of the line and therefore it is known as end condenser method so simple very very simple diagram sending end voltage vs receiving end voltage vr current ir receiving end current is passing through load sending end current is there and we have got a capacitance which is lumped at the end, which takes a current IC. So simple, very simple diagram. The vector diagram is also simple. VR as a reference. IR is the receiving end current, but IC that is the uh, sending and I mean this uh, IC that is the capacitive current is added and capacitive current leads VR by 90 degree. So when it is added, IS, you can see that it is reduced and your losses are IS, IS square R. So your line losses will be less and therefore your efficiency will be better. The voltage also will be better because ISZ is your voltage and that is also going to be less. So uh, the very, very good advantage of this uh, medium transmission line is the efficiency and regulation are better. So this is the simple vector diagram. Then what you have to do? You have to take the readings and for taking the readings, you will have to have some circuit diagram which will be connecting in the laboratory. 
simple circuit diagram looking very complex but not that complex auto transformer usually all laboratories do have then voltmeters and emitters we uh, rather uh, do not write voltage we write kv right that is there calibrated in terms of kv and km k actually it is not k the current is less than 1 ampere voltage is only 0 to 240 volts but we want to give a feel therefore we are not going to ct and pt so meters without and ct and pt are used but uh, we are writing kilo ampere kilovolt and megawatt right resistance as usual as i told you 2 ampere 5 ohm resistance we are using 5 ohm which is quite uh, uh, typical then ic1 and ic2 we are using two capacitors two halves of the capacitors if we connect them in parallel that means if we make the total capacitor c and connect it with r then it is end condenser method if x is connected with p and z is connected with r then it makes pi the presentation and x and y connected together and then it is connected with q it gives you t the presentation here in this uh, today's talk we are going to talk about only end condenser method right uh, the capacitors are nearly at the uh, receiving end are for improving the power factor they are deliberate capacitors so they are not uh, the inherent capacitors but they are and with the load we are connecting a, an inductor to see the effect of inductor on the uh, performance of the transmission line so for this circuit we will go on taking readings what readings we will take we will take so many readings one two number one is observed value and number two is calculated value any say you see ir is there ir ir cannot be calculated ir is ir but is can be calculated because IR, IS is equal to IR plus IC. So IR plus IC uh, by analysis you can calculate, right? So IS calculated and IS observed. Similarly, VS, VR is only one, but VS you can calculate, right? But VS you will observe also because the meter is there. Similarly, WS you can observe also and you can calculate also. So Whatever can be calculated is written both ways so that just you can compare whether you are right or wrong, whether your meter that is showing is right or wrong. Then cos phi r and cos phi s that is the power factor. Then efficiency 1 and efficiency 2. Efficiency 1 is the observed efficiency. The observed efficiency is wr divided by ws that is observed. But when you use observed value of ws then it is observed efficiency but when you use calculated value of ws it is calculated efficiency similarly for regulation like that you tabularize this and when you get some because you have got five uh, load points this means one reading for no load and five for load six readings by six readings you will be able to know the complete performance of the line and you will get many details about the line and you will come to know whether you should use this line or not whether you should design such a line or not so this we will be doing uh, at the end you can see vr is the reference voltage icr when this happens when there is no load so ir is zero so is is ic so you can see that at this point vr is more than vs that is the receiving end voltage is more that is known as ferrant effect and that can be removed by using shunt reactors and the uh, thyristorized controlled reactor and thyristor is controlled by processor so that automatically the voltage vr is kept more or less equal to vs and regulation is uh, practically zero that means very good regulation is achieved that is what nowadays in uh, in the modern design it is it is done 
the different uh, parameters is the WS sending in power, WR, VS that is sending in voltage and receiving in voltage, sending in current, receiving in current, capacitive current, resistance of the line, reactance of the line, impedance of the line, capacitance of the line, power factor, admittance Y, and then these formulas are well known. IC is equal to J omega C VR, Y is equal to J omega C, IC is equal to VR Y, IS equal to IR plus IC. This is all for calculation. Have you will calculate because in your table there is observed and calculated. Observed meter is observing. But calculated, you have to calculate like this. Then going further, line efficiency is WR divided by WS into 100. Regulation VS minus VR. Why by VS? Because VR zero. Voltage when the load, I mean the receiving end voltage when there is no load is VS. So VS minus VR upon VR into 100 is the line regulation. And VS is equal to AVR plus DIR. IS is to CVR plus DIR. ABCD constants you can calculate. So all these things you can calculate. And for calculating and for doing all these things, you have to use this circuit diagram. So a very simple experiment, but gives many parameters, gives many informations. And you see, all these things we are studying in theory. This is not theory. This is what you will be doing hands on. You will be observing yourself. You will be taking readings and you will be concluding yourself. That is the main advantage of this experiment. So with this, my friends, I, I end my talk. And when I end, always I uh, tell one sentence that listen to your heart. Heart is always tells correct. It may be on your left. Heart is on, on left, but it is always right. Heart is on left, but it is always right. Right. Uh, you, you should hear of your heart, not of your brain. Heart always is above the brain. If a person is intelligent, but not hearty, that means he does not have heart, he is not kind, then is of no use. But a person who is kind, but has no intelligence, he will learn intelligence someday. One of my professors, a very, very well-known professor, Dr. J.C. Panchal, he used to tell that if, if, if two uh, persons are given to me, If two persons are given to me, uh, 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 one is with, uh, uh, one is sincere and another is uh, intelligent. And if I'm asked to decide who, whom you will select, whether you will select the person with heart or you will select, uh, I mean, you will select the person with sincerity or you will select the person with intelligence. He was telling that I would select the person with Sincerity, because if sincerity is there, intelligence can be learned. But if intelligence is there, sincerity cannot be learned, right? So this is very important, he was telling. So with that, we end our talk. Please don't forget Adapt Me. Adapt Me is teaching you all different types of experiments, giving complete design of the experiments at no cost. It is going, now we are going to talk about distance protection also, line differential protection, generator protection, transformer protection, uh, the induction motor protection, bus zone protection, CTPT, circuit breakers, all components of switch gear, all components of protection we are going to learn at no cost. There will be about 150 such video. I think I'm running on 30th video or so. So we are going to give many videos like that at no cost so somebody if somebody gives at cost also then also we should thank uh, in in uk uh, when I, I we we used to go to market and uh, we we purchase the thing 
and we give money. So that person was telling thank you. Actually, there is nothing like thank you. He has given us something and we have given money. And when he gives us something, then we also say thank you. Now here, we are giving it at no cost. So you have to give any money. So Please share the name of the Adapmi with your friends everywhere, in every corner. I want the name of Adapmi to shine in every corner of the world. So please do that. Please remember Adapmi. Thank you for the time. Good night, friends.